What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Oak Tree Football Channel, and welcome to another 2020 college football record prediction and schedule breakdown video. Today, I will be doing the Wisconsin Badgers. Uh, this is the fourth Big Ten team I've done. I have done um, both Ohio State and Penn State, and then in the Big Ten West, the only team I've done is Minnesota, uh, but Wisconsin is also in the Big Ten West. Um, so I had Minnesota at a 10 and 2 record. So, of course, if Wisconsin is better than that, they will go to the Big Ten Championship. They made the Big Ten Championship last year, um, but lost to Ohio State, uh, who went on to be uh, to make it to the college football playoff before losing to Clemson. Um, but it, uh, I think they did put up a pretty good effort in that game, especially in the first half. It was just in the second half that uh, Ohio State started to pull away. Uh, they are losing Jonathan Taylor. Um, which is not good at the running back position. He was one of their best players in their entire team. Um, but Wisconsin, uh, so Jonathan Taylor was a running back, if you didn't know. Uh, Wisconsin has had a lot of good running backs over the years, and every time someone leaves, and then j just the next year or the next two years, they have another one who is almost just as good, which is why running backs shouldn't be much of a problem for Wisconsin, uh, I don't think. I mean, I don't think anyone will be as good as Jonathan Taylor was. Jonathan Taylor was fantastic, especially not this year, but I think there will be some good running backs, and, and potentially next year, We'll see another great running back on Wisconsin. Um, they also lost Quintus Cephas, who was their best quarter uh, or the best wide receiver from last season. That's not great, but uh, I think they can make up for that. He wasn't. He didn't. He didn't put up that many yards anyway. Uh, and then at the quarterback position, they have Jack Cohen, a very interesting quarterback. I could definitely see him having a good year, but I could also see him not being great. But he had some pretty good numbers last season, and that was with Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. That's why uh, I am leaning towards him being good this season, uh, especially without a top running back to hand the ball off to. Um, but with that out of the way, let's get into looking at Wisconsin's schedule. So last year, Wisconsin went 10-4, and which was good. Um, and they were a pretty good team last year. Of course, this was uh, able to get them bowl eligible, uh, and they were able to play in the championship game, like I already said, uh, against Ohio State. And they had the 26th best recruiting class, uh, which is good. It's not great, but it's not bad either. It's actually very, uh, it's 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 going to help them a lot. So now, getting into the schedule, week one, they play Indiana. Indiana is a very interesting team to me. I could definitely see Indiana being good this year. Uh, with that being said, though, I could also see them being not very great. They were actually pretty good last season. Uh, I think they'll be probably just above average, maybe an eight-win season. And I think I think they might be able to – if this game was in Indiana, I think Indiana might be able to put up a fight. But because it's at home for Wisconsin, I think it'll probably be a, a, a pretty easy game for Wisconsin. I don't think it'll be much of a challenge. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be, like, basically an automatic win uh, in uh, just – by a bunch of points. I just think Wisconsin is the better team, and being at home, uh, I, I'm leaning towards them in this one. Uh, week two, I don't even think there's a question about this game. It's at home against Southern Illinois. There should be no challenge here. This should be one of the, uh, one of Wisconsin's biggest wins of the entire season. At home against Southern Illinois, I don't see any challenge whatsoever. Uh, this should be an easy win, and this is definitely, a, I think, a guaranteed win for Wisconsin. Week three is a very interesting it, interesting one. It's, a, it's against Appalachian State. Appalachian State could be a sneaky team, um, but I, I could see them being a sneaky team, and I could actually see them putting up some points on Wisconsin. I just don't think they'll win this game because Wisconsin is the home team, uh, and Wisconsin, at the end of the day, is better than Appalachian State. If this game was at home for them, 100%, I would not be surprised if they could actually get the upset. Um but I don't think they'll be able to get the upset uh, this year just because of the home field advantage for Wisconsin. I think this should be a pretty easy 3-0 start for Wisconsin, if I'm honest. Uh, week 4, they have their first tough game. It's at Michigan. Now, I think Wisconsin and Michigan, uh, their rosters, I think they're basically level on talent. Uh, they're both very, very good teams. I have not done my Michigan prediction yet, but uh, I'm just going to say now I do expect them to be good this season. I do expect them to be ranked this season. But I think the same about Wisconsin. So this is going to be a really good game. Um, but it is at home for Michigan. That is very, very good for them. Um, I might be leaning towards Michigan in this game, but by no means. Uh, I definitely think Wisconsin could win this game. But I am leaning a bit towards Michigan. Um, this game could go either way. It's going to be an entertaining game to watch. Uh, two uh, Big Ten teams, uh, they're not in the same uh, division. 
but it will still be a very fun uh, game to watch. Uh, and it'll be pretty interesting. It'll be pretty close. Uh, week 5, another tough, tough game. It's against Notre Dame. Um, and it is at a neutral stadium, which isn't great. The good part about that, though, it is, is it is gr in Green Bay, which is still in Wisconsin. It's just it's at Lambeau Field, which is the Green Bay Packers Stadium, which is not where Wisconsin normally plays. Um, but I think it's near enough to home that this is basically the home field advantage for them. Um, I think Notre Dame is the better team. I think Notre Dame is really... I think that Notre Dame is the only team that they play this season that has more talent than them. Maybe, maybe Michigan, uh, or maybe the next team, which I'll get up, uh, get to in a second. Um, Notre Dame is the only one that I really think is more talented than Wisconsin. Um, but with that being said, I could 100% see Wisconsin winning this game because they're basically at home, and they are still a very, very good football team. I did my Notre Dame prediction a few days ago. Um, uh, I think I'm leaning towards Wisconsin in this one. I really am. I, I think Wisconsin can be pretty good at home this season. And even though this game isn't at home, I think it's close enough to be called a home game. Um, so I think this will, this is going to be a very entertaining game. One of the best games. Um, maybe we'll even have college game day here. Uh, that'll be fun. Uh, but it's going to be a fun game to watch. I think I'm leaning towards Wisconsin, but I would not be surprised if Notre Dame won. Week 6, Minnesota at home. Um, it is at home, but Minnesota is a very good football team. Uh, it's really going to be between them and the Big Ten West, Minnesota and Wisconsin. This is a very, very important game. Um, so this is a tough three-game stre stretch for Wisconsin at Michigan, then um, uh, against Notre Dame, and then uh, uh, against Minnesota. Three tough teams in a row, and I think they probably will lose one of them. Um, I could definitely see them winning all of them, though. Uh, Minnesota is going to be a tough challenge, though. Uh, like I said, a very, very important game for um, to go probably to the Big Ten Championship. If I was to, if I was to guess, I would say this game is to go to the Big Ten Championship. It really depends how the other teams schedule or uh, how Minnesota and Wisconsin how the rest of the season plays out. But I do believe that this game will be the decider. Um, I did my Minnesota prediction a few days ago. I think because Wisconsin is at home, I think they will edge out a victory. Um, but was uh, Minnesota could definitely win this game. I said that uh, for the past three games, but it's really true because to, these games, these three games, could go either way. Uh, it could go either to Wisconsin, but it could also go uh, to their opponent. Three very fun games to watch in a row, I think. Uh, and then they're a bit lucky after that; they get to rest on a bye. This is not the best place by because it is coming off some tough games. Um, I. But it is, it's after the tough games, but also it's after the tough games so they get to rest. Uh, it's an interesting place by. I think it's a pretty good spot. Not perfect, but uh, it's not bad. Week 8, they're at Maryland. Maryland uh, could be a sneaky team last uh, this season. They started last season really well, but it kind of went downhill from there. But this year, they got uh, Tua Tagovailoa's brother, Talio Tagovailoa. Um, he just uh, went to them a few days ago. And there is a bit of hype around Maryland, and I would not be surprised if Maryland is pretty good this season, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think they can be around bull eligibility, and I could seriously see Maryland actually putting up a pretty good challenge against Wisconsin in this game, uh, because Maryland is the home team. Wisconsin definitely has the better roster, uh, and if this game was at home for Wisconsin, I think it would be a win. I could see Maryland winning this game, but... I, I do believe Wisconsin should win. I'm definitely leaning towards them. And there's a lot better chance that Wisconsin wins than Maryland. Week 9, I don't see being much of a challenge. It's against Illinois. Uh, Illinois isn't too bad of a football team. Um, but they're definitely not as good as Wisconsin. And Wisconsin being at home in this game, I think, will be enough. Uh, so th I think this is a pretty easy win uh, for Wisconsin. Um, week 10, they have an away game. In, it's at Northwestern. Northwestern's very interesting team to me. I could definitely see Northwestern being actually pretty good this season. Uh, and I could definitely see this being a tough, tough game uh, for Wisconsin being on the road against Northwestern. There is talent on this Northwestern roster, but there is also talent on the Wisconsin roster. This game could go either way. I, I really do believe so. I wouldn't be surprised if Northwestern can actually get a victory, um, but I feel like there's a lot of... Um, I know, I know probably most people are going to agree with me that, with this. Uh, there's a lot of a better chance that Wisconsin will win this game against Northwestern. I could 100% see Northwestern putting up a fight, though. Week 11, uh, it's 
against Purdue at Purdue. I have not really talked much about Purdue on this channel. Purdue is a team that I think can actually be pretty good this season. Uh, they have definitely talent on the roster. Rondale Moore, uh, I think he can have a really big year. Talent on the roster. I think Purdue can actually be a pretty good team this year uh, and potentially be close to the top 25. Um, I really have not talked about them enough. I really believe they will be a good team. Um, uh, in the Big Ten, I could actually see this is an important game, I think, for Wisconsin being on the road. I think uh, if Purdue wins this game, uh, I think we would probably see them being ranked at this point. Um, I like. I mean, I mean, I can see Purdue being very, very good. I could also see them not being great, though. Um, some people, I mean, a lot of people expect expect them to be right around that six win range. I could, I, I think it might be up towards eight, maybe. Um, at best, probably nine, but I would say more close to eight or seven. Uh, so I can see this being a very, very tough game for Wisconsin. Uh, and I might be leaning towards Purdue in this one, but. With that being said, I probably uh, would not, or I would, I not probably, I would not be surprised if Wisconsin won this game because they are the better team than Purdue. Just Purdue has a good roster, and playing at home, I think that could be enough. Week 12 should not be a challenge. It's against Nebraska. I think this is an easy win. I don't see this being a challenge whatsoever. Um, this is one of their easiest games of the season, along with Southern Illinois and Illinois. Don't see this game being a much of a challenge. Should be an easy win. And then week 13, um, they're against Iowa at Iowa. Iowa is pre a pretty good football team. They are losing some talent, but I do believe they can be pretty good this season. I I'm not sure if they'll be ranked, but I think they can be close. I think they can be pretty good in the Big Ten West. Um, uh, but I, I'm i leaning towards this continent this one. I wouldn't be surprised if Iowa won, though. This is actually going to be a pretty close game, I think. Uh, I think it's going to be very close. I think Wisconsin will probably edge out a victory, but I would not be surprised if Iowa won. So now, as I always do, I will go through each game once again. I will give my prediction for who I believe will win, uh, and of course, who I believe will lose. Week 1, uh, I think Wisconsin will win. Week 2, Wisconsin. Week 3, Wisconsin. I think it's an easy 3 in order to start the season. I don't see them uh, having much of a challenge in any of these games. Week 4, I have them losing at Michigan. If this game was at home, I would have Wisconsin winning. But just because uh, it is at uh, at home for Michigan, I'm going to take Michigan. Um, I think Wisconsin might struggle on the road this season a bit. Uh, and I think Michigan, just because this is a pretty, pretty evenly matched game uh, based on the roster. Um, Wisconsin might have the better roster, but I think uh, Michigan will be able to uh, edge them out. So I think 3-1 and one at this point for Wisconsin. Then they play Notre Dame, who I said was probably their toughest opponent. I actually had them winning this game. I just think that because the game is basically a home game, I think they'll get the better Notre Dame uh, and win this game. Week 6 against Minnesota, I think they'll win this game as well. I think it'll be tough, um, but the home field advantage, I think it'll be enough to get them win. Uh, so only one loss uh, after bye week, week 7. I think they'll beat Maryland, Illinois, and Northwestern. I think the Maryland and the Northwestern game, especially the Northwestern game, can be pretty close, but I do believe Wisconsin will win those games. Week 11, I have them losing to Purdue. Um, I talked about it a bit. I think Purdue will be a very good team this season, and I think that this game being uh, at home for Purdue, I think that will be enough to get Purdue a win, and I know that's going to surprise a lot of people, but I, I really do believe that. Week 12, I think it's an easy one against Nebraska. And then Week 13, originally I had this being a loss, um, because I do believe that Wisconsin will struggle on the road. Um, but I think they'll be able to edge out a win in Iowa, probably close, to give them a record of 10-2. and two. And with this record, they will make it to the Big Ten Championship game. Um, if you saw my Minnesota prediction, I also had Minnesota being 10-2. and two. But I do have Wisconsin beating Minnesota, which would mean uh, Wisconsin would go to the Big Ten Championship game to play uh, probably Ohio State, uh, maybe Penn State, um, but I will say Ohio State at the moment. Um, so I do think that, t honestly, best case scenario for uh, Wisconsin this season is 12-0 and because they could 100% win every game they have. I just think they probably will lose one game in that tough three-game stretch, if you remember, uh, Michigan, Notre Dame, and Minnesota. I think they'll probably lose one game there. And then I think they'll have uh, some challenges with teams like uh, Iowa and um, Purdue later in the season. I think worst case, this team loses five games, probably against, um, yeah, I think five games probably against, uh, Michigan, uh, Notre Dame, Minnesota, 
I think Northwestern could give them a challenge, and I think Northwestern, especially being on the road, and then Purdue, I think that would be worst case scenario. Um, they could, I think it's really they could go anywhere in that range. It really, um, I think they will be bowl eligible. I think that's pretty clear that they will be bowl eligible. It, it really depends if, if the Jonathan Taylor loss really hurts them a lot more than we might expect, or if Jack Cohen can't get the job done. Uh, that's, that's the only reason I think they might not be great and lose some of these other teams. But I think Jack Cohen can be pretty good, and uh, I think they'll be able to make up for the loss of Jonathan Taylor pretty well. Probably not like as good as Jonathan Taylor, but I think they'll do it pretty well. Um, so my prediction for Wisconsin this season is 10-2. and two. Uh, What is your guys' prediction? Tell me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe for more daily NFL and college football content. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.